Yeah, so just a quick prayer and we are away, aren't we? Now, there's only really two ways you can normally take to where we're going. And we've used those roads quite a lot in our motor vlogs, so I'm going to change it up this time. We're going to head off to Inverness, and uh, we are going to go down the A9 from that point. And I don't think we've ever taken footage of that particular part of the Highlands. So that's the video you're going to see. I doubt we're going to film much of what we're doing on the way there just now, but we'll see you guys, we'll see. We'll see maybe sort of, we've got everything. It's about an hour and a half journey. And hopefully when we're there, guys, we're going to get some kayaking done as well. We're going to go out on the loch. We can see the mountains, we've got to the mountains and all that sort of stuff, you know, so... But as usual, we don't really plan a lot of stuff, do we? We just kind of go with it. Generally because of the kind of weather we have in Scotland, there you go. And we'll also turn the camera around so you can see us while we're driving as well. Not even the back actually this time around, just because David with his uh, car stiffness. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah, and just off Emily's Fields down this way, and <coughs> I've fallen a little bit behind again. We're still pushing, aren't we, guys? Eh? We've got the horse lorry, it was in for its pre MOT inspection, wasn't it? There's a couple of little jobs to do, I'm really happy with that. So we'll kind of need the horse floor to pick up horses, won't we? Really? Kind of need it, you know, it's all part of the plan. But basically guys, concrete floor and hook, do the final hook up of the water supply and that's it. We've got painting to do and all sorts of stuff, but I'd prefer to do a bit of that later. Um, and just so we've always got bits for YouTube and we've got to see the horses and stuff like that. I don't think I'll ever be properly finished with it. We'll always keep on adding. <coughs> we'll, we'll keep adding to it. But we need to get this first phase out of the way, which is concrete down, water on, and we are ready to rock. And it's a quick, quick, beautiful view as we leave. Yeah, it should be okay. It's actually a Monday today. The road shouldn't be too uh, crazy with traffic. It should be okay. And look at this. It is really coming down. Oh, the camera can't even focus, it's that bad. Wow. What's going on here? We'll put on the hazard lights because it's not a normal, quite a dangerous piece of the road, this. I don't know what's happening up ahead. Is traffic lights road works? Yeah. We're an ambulance too. I hope they got through there okay, quite. Yeah, we're just chatting with Jessica there, guys. Sorry. We're just negotiating our way through here. Yeah, I'm saying to the guys, I wish we actually were driving Jessica at the minute. Our horse lorry is. Um, but we're going to convert her... We're going to convert her into our Barney Family Fun Support Vehicle, eh? So it'll be for wild camping, horses. We can take motorbikes in the back. Could have said we'd shift house, couldn't we? that big in the back. We could shift our, our whole house somewhere else. Just take all the stuff that's in the back. So that's just us hitting the, the roundabout for us. It's, a, it's, it's only about 15 minutes into our journey, I would say. Yeah. That's about it, isn't it? But we'll start eating at the miles soon. Especially when we actually go down the A9. We really, really will eat the miles up big style. And so we're just going to stop quick for diesel. Oh, look at that, £1.54 now. Oh, yeah. Remember at one point it was two, what was that again? Two. Two. Ten. It was like £2 Melbourne, but it was £2 and some pence in the sky. This is Dingbro guy's seen us, is he? Yeah. But now it's and like one. Okay, he sees us. Now it's like one fifty. So we'll just have to pull in here, it's a tight one, but we'll be okay. Hello! We decided just to turn it around. I'm not normally in front of the camera much because we're. Because Dad's the cameraman. Because I am the cameraman, editor, and chief cook and bottle washer, sort of thing. <laughs> 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 
try and get ourselves out of here. Yeah, we won't film too long with us. Yay! Hello everyone! And of course, David and Emily are well used to being in front of the camera. <laughs> when they're doing their BFF and Shorty Shorts and Gaming, which are their channels, uh, they're in front of the camera all the time. Daddy is their cameraman. Yeah. Do my best, eh? Try our best. Spike's yeah. the giant looking Yes. Oh, Spike, oh, is he? Oh, that's good. If you're wondering what this is, this is our fishing rod case. That's where the fishing rods go in. Yeah, my name is Katana's are here. Yeah, could be. Bamboo, not real. Yes, bamboo katanas, not real katanas. Oh, we'd be yeah, good. We're, we're not allowed to the real ones. We've kind of got the sun behind us, haven't we? Yeah. It's kind of shining under the camera there. Hopefully it'll be okay. David's busy checking himself out in the mirror. Anything? Yeah. Keep a good eye whenever I go in. So just cool the old caravan. Yeah, so now we're going down and through the trees. It seems to be a little bit dark, isn't it? Yeah, of course, da Emma's got, David's got this kind of Ray-Ban style ones, eh? and Emma's got aviators. In your bag, aren't they? Oh, it's roadworks up ahead. It is. Yeah, it's traffic lights. We've done, actually done okay. We went through near. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this will be a pain for a lot of drivers. This is the main road here. Yeah, pretty much the main road here. And through the traffic lights we go. Highway maintenance. All right, so they're just sorting the edge of the, the edge of the road out all the way down there. There we go. We're gone. Yeah, after getting diesel, I put my I put my body warmer back on and see now. Oh man, it's so hot here. Eh? This is what we want. Emma's checking herself out in the mirror too. I can see. <laughs> Young Dad's just trying his best. <laughs> oh, come on, nothing too disgusting for the poor viewers. <laughs> yeah, they're crazies, people. Crazies. These guys love the camera. Look, see the camera's on, it's playing the action, doing the thing. I don't think the camera quality is good this side, is it? Compared to the other, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. This one? Oh, that's good. Right. Okay, guys, Bailey just farted. I'm sorry. Whoa. I got the wind jumping! Dear Lord. Welcome, Bailey. <laughs> She's crazy, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah, you're saying, please. Oh, that's that's right now, we're <laughs> on the way to our holiday. On our way, okay, people, we're on our way. But the opposite way around. We're just recovering from a cold as well. The Getting there, though. Way nice and relaxed. Pointless out looking at the review view mirror, but the side view view mirror's handy. Thank you guys. You guys love being a camera, don't you, eh? You <laughs> love it. So I've just had a great idea, you guys, right? Now, David and Emily are actually very good when it goes on journeys. They quite enjoy it. I but didn't have my head. <laughs> I think we're going to start a new playlist on BFF called Are We There Are Yet? Are We There Yet? Where you will get entertainment from David and Emily. I think Going, that's a great idea. Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? <laughs> That'll be cool. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Some hitchhikers out and about. I'm running. They're running. And David and Emily can entertain you with David's knowledge, his big brain. Emily can go crazy, do her thing. How do you name it Let's check out. I'm going to do Michael Jackson's No Gravity Fall. Spike's just confused over what we're doing. What, what no. He's just staring at me. You've got to get away for a wee while, don't you guys, eh? Even Mommy's if we're in the car, I think Mommy's watching a DVD or something. A DVD? No, 
I've got music on, eyes closed, barely sleeping as well. Yeah. Are you worried about the old karma there, people? <laughs> <laughs> so the welcome to the first ever episode of Are We There Yeah? Man, it's hot. Yeah. That's what we want the way. Hot in the Scottish Highlands. There's no midges yet. The little beasties, eh, guys? They eat us alive. Yeah. Man, alive. So we're coming to Inverness now, and we'll just pop onto the A9 and go south. It should take us about half an hour, 40 minutes maybe. The caravan is swaying in the wind. Whoa! Yeah, it's pretty windy, I don't know. Sandstorm! Look at this! Wow! Oh, wow! Right, we'll drop down to 40, guys. Drop a gear, drop down to 40. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, it's gone now. Alive, that was something else. Yeah, uh, really just better slowing down for those things and powering through. There's a good view coming up. Oh, yeah, doves. Uh, I like their views. Take a look at the view and enjoy it. Just enjoy the view. Now, before we get to the view, I think what we're doing this year, I never like to say for absolutely sure, you know, but we're hoping to do the North Coast 500, which is when we get to Inverness, we turn right and go north. And we do the 500 miles that go around all the way around the top part of Scotland. And we're really hoping to do that in our seven and a half ton lorry, eh, hey, hey, Emily? Don't think I'd Jessica and do that. David and Emily will be sleeping in the hammocks. Yeah, in the back. And Mummy. We should not have to dig a double bed up above the car. So that should be good. And there you go, guys. The Murray Firth Kessick Bridge in Inverness. And the Highlands in the background. And we are just about to enter. Uh, I know, I can't keep them cooped up in that box for an hour and a half, can we? Oh, this is Spike's like sixth caravan holiday, seventh actually. Spike away, yeah. Yeah. Don't take them cramping, obviously. But because the caravan's just a heist, really, you know, heating, hot water, all that sort of stuff. But not cramping. I mean, he needs to have his heat pad, doesn't he, guys? Yeah. Wow, it's windy. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a bit confused wind as well. It's throwing things around rather than in one direction. Zugatti. The holder says Zugatti. Zugatti? Yeah. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. He said Zugatti. Zugatti. Wow. I don't really feel the caravan being pushed. Just keep a good concentration on. Let David and Emily entertain you. So we're just about to negotiate the Inverness roundabouts. And that's a good chance for people to give the people a chance to overtake us. We'll go right over into this lane there. That's how you drink water without hands. Is that silly boy? Hmm. I'm gonna drink water without using my hands. Oh. And starting on my lap. I'm gonna get my sunglasses out. Get your aviators out, Emily, get them out. <laughs> You're managing the sun, sort of. It's worth a try. Oh, another broken dude guy, is it? No. Another broken dude guy over there. There we go. We'll get this middle lane again. I hope we'll get a... Give these guys behind us a wee chance to overtake. Now, if he's heading up the A9, I better just let him in front of us, eh? Because he has got stacked more power than we've got. Yes, yeah, so we're coming in Inverness now, guys. The Snow Goose Inn, what a lovely meal to get in there. I've been there for a very long time. So, yeah, generally when we come through here, we're going to Loch Ness. So, we head up sort of north on the A9 and then go across. But now we're going south, so I'm just basically, we're just going to take the first exit and away we go. Yeah. 
Hey, I don't think you guys have ever been on this bit of road. Me and David, I think, when we got the Trixie, the trailer, remember? That was you and Emily. Oh, was that me and Emily that went through for Trixie? Yeah. Yeah, so we had a camera overheat there, you guys. Yeah. That was a bit of a pain, but it's okay, we just climbed out Inverness. We're now going down south towards Perth. And Stirlingshire and Glasgow and all that. But we will stop down here for a wee bit and get a bit of fresh air. Bailey needs some water. They could have been okay for the last leg of the journey. Mm -hmm. But we'll be entering the Highlands very shortly, people. Well, we're in the Highlands, but I mean the mountains. Fort Augustus off that way. We're not going there today. We're not going to Loch Ness today, are we, people? We will, we'll go back to Loch Ness. If you actually look on our Barney Family channel, you'll find a section called Come and Holiday with Us. Baby. And we've got a couple of Loch Ness holidays that, that you might enjoy. So have a look. 23 miles. 23 miles, people. And we're just going to have to climb out again. Such a steep bit of road, this. We're just keeping an, an eye on Frank's temperatures. He's absolutely fine as always as we climb. A big climb. Yeah. Always good when you're caravaning like this. Keep a good eye on your mirrors. Oh, okay. Keep a good eye on your mirrors so you can see what's coming and what's not. Getting close to the mountains again now. It's an up and down, up and down bit. I'll really start feeling like we're in the Highlands very shortly. Back on a single uh, single car of trees. Man, they've cut down a lot of trees on the right hand side since the last time we were here. Hey Bailey, we'll find a really good spot and we'll stop. Yeah. Nice drink of water, stretch your leggies. Empty the bladder. You have all these things to think about in a journey, don't you? Lots of things to think about. Make sure everybody's happy. I definitely need a wee break. I need to. I need to get out and have a, a wee stretch of my legs too. I'm trying to find a really bonny place for us to stop. We're just seeing that big lorry in front of us. There's probably. Just a little taller than Jessica, our Laurie. Or Bob just said, like, around the same height. Oh, I'll have to measure it and see how high she is. She's, is it 13 feet or something? 12 point something. 12 point something, isn't 12 it? 12 point 6. Yeah, okay, we'll get, so get her out this year to do our thing. We're not going to overtake this lorry, though. No point. But we do need to stop, eh, Bailey? Eh? I certainly do just get a bit of stretch. There's the River Findhorn. We actually crossed that earlier. Yeah, crossed that river earlier in our journey. This is it. Now, this train track that goes down along beside us, we can't really see it just now. I'm pretty sure they used that bit of the train track for Harry Potter, didn't they? Yeah, there's a, a bridge way. Well, you can't see it from the road. I'm pretty sure that's where the old Harry Potter one was. Oh, and a beautiful... No, I think they've left the, uh, they've left the other end open. So as you can see, guys, we're just about to get into that valley and head on down. I can see some snow, but we'll stop here because it's so windy. It's pretty cold. Oh. I need to go yeah. back. Hello, my boy. Yeah, we're gonna get you back, son. No stress marks at all, he said. Are you happy enough? Are you happy enough? Look, uh, Emily, can you grab him? No, he's gonna stay with Doves. You want to get out with Doves? Yeah. Yeah, I better put him in his box. Sorry, eh? it's cool. Can you reach over for him, Mum? Can mm -hmm. you get as far across the area? It's okay, it's There cool. you go, son. <laughs> right, let's get out. Guys. So here we go, just trying to cover us for the wind. Sharon's way up there with Bailey. Look, give her a proper run around. Obviously on the lead, because we're right at the edge of the road. That'll give her a wee run. Look, she's looking back at me. Uh, it's about the summit. What are we at? 405 metres above sea level. So we are up actually quite high here. 
but yeah, I'm just trying to keep out of the way of the, the wind. Let's see if we're going the corner. Yeah, a bit of wind. There we go, we're almost kitted out guys, all the gear. Right, David's going to get this drinking from, bottle. Get Bailey's drinking bottle out for her. She's got the aviators on. She's got the aviators on, baby! The aviators! Yeah, so hopefully as you can see, quite a long vehicle. Quite a long one. If you're watching for the first time, you'll see inside later and how it's all set up. Yeah, just super. Wow! <laughs> She's yeah. ready to go, these guys yeah. are ready for their holidays! Yeah. We don't need no... We don't need no... <laughs> Every time everyone was on the other side of the bridge. Let's do this uh, victory dance, look. Have we got the football with us? Yes! Oh, nice, that's okay then. And I brought my football kit. <laughs> right, so Spike back in his box, is it? Yeah. He's quite happy. Oh, I bring him out. Yeah, but a big tractor, but I think we'll, if we have to, we can overtake him later on. But we're back on the... We've almost been out for two hours. hours. Have we been driving for two hours? That sounds about right. Because we left out here in 15 minutes to oh, it's the quickest route is there. Yeah. But we're taking a different... Plus, we're not, we're not, the, yeah. we've decided to do that as well as, but this is our journey day, isn't it? We're not going to keep just rushing all the time. Hey, hey, I'm for it, you guys. Why does the sky look better with this on? With my sunglasses on? I don't know. My this sunglasses are kind of got pink in it, but they look a lot cooler. Look at that, seven and a half ton. We'd have to do 50 miles an hour on this road here. But I'm pretty sure when it goes into dual car, it would go up to 60. If I had the lorry, that was. Speed camera. Speed cameras. Dead. Yeah. You know probably when I'm an old lady, I'd still be wearing these. Um, probably. Yeah. No one you. Just in my retirement retirement home, I just walked around with these on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Cairngorm Mountain Park, baby. We did it. You'll see at the left. Look where the rocks have had to. They've got so many rocks haven't fallen off there over the years. They've just had to cover it, which doesn't look very nice. But yeah. Spots and these needs musty. Are they safe and sorry? Yeah. It's actually, There's a sheep. It's There's actually, a sheep next to a cave. Is there? I saw a cave in the wall. Is there sheep down in that valley yeah. bit there? Well, I saw a sheep back there. It's actually good that we're stuck behind this this uh, tractor because we can get a good view of the the mountains we're coming into now. But guys, I think if we travel up high enough, we get that snow. Yeah. So it's lovely and roast and hot just now, but. Once we get up, oh boy. Now, should I just go for it on his east unit? Anyway? That's cool. Goodbye. There we go, thank you, sir. Very nice of you. Yeah, because the tractor does about, probably about 30 miles an hour. That's us back up to 50. We've got a bit of Kia cars behind us, but we should. Be coming on the dual car to us shortly, and, we'll get, and they can all overtake us. There we go. Dav's getting a bit of refreshment. I feel much better now. Stretch the legs, nice drink. Yeah. It's important, and you can be nice and relaxed driving, nice and alert. What are you looking for? Yeah, there's quite, quite a queue behind us just now. So either pull over at some stage here or the, the dual car if it's not far. It's dual. Oh, yeah, so we've been driving for around an hour to two hours. Yeah. Whoa. Check it out, guys. Check it out. This is what we come to see. Right, let's get in here. Pardon me. That is the parking, yes. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll just pull in here like this. Oh, yeah. lovely orange lorry. We'll pull in here like this. Are we going to any castles? Right to the other side. I don't know yet, actually, Sam. There's Ruthven Barracks. We did that years ago, that one, actually. Oh. Right, let's see how much of a... Let's see if those poor guys haven't sit at a 
45, 50 the whole way down the road, eh? Let them all get past. Now hopefully this just gives you a view of where we're actually going, guys, at the Cairngorms. It really is something else. But we have been surprised about the West Coast, haven't we, you guys? Hey, eh? the West Coast has been amazing. Here? Oh, he's so cute. Here we go. Three cars, yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, it takes five, it only takes a couple of minutes to go our journey. She's falling asleep. Yeah, she didn't think she was getting too close. Bailey stretched her legs now as well, had a drink, so she's happy. Uh, relieved herself at the roadside. Yeah, we're not far away now, guys. That's Car Bridge. Yeah. Next stop, Aviemore, I think. If I remember rightly, is the next one. Car Bridge would be a lovely way to take to um, Glenmore, but I think because we've done this road for a while, I think we'll stick on this road. I've kind of been on this road. Elgin, look, that takes us back to uh, where we live. Um, I think the last time we were down this road was Fiscali. Oh, it's that's called Fiscali. Down beside Perth, we need to go back there someday. Because it had an indoor swimming pool, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Remember, that was yeah. awesome. Can we go back there? Oh, I'll have to go back there, yeah. Next time we go on holiday. If I can remember rightly, for Scully, we never had a midgy problem at all. Yeah. Did we? Um, I don't think we. I got a horsey bites. Right. Nothing major. Not by actual horses. Yeah, so just so you know, guys, in Scotland we get these little beasties called midges. Um, and uh, mostly Americans get mosquitoes. Yeah, we get but midges. For us, we get midges. And they are a nightmare. And it's actually the, the girls bite us. Yeah. Because uh, they want a bit of our blood, you see. And they only live for a day. So you end up getting eaten alive. So what we're going to do is, instead of going to these mountain places in summertime, is actually go to coastal, and then that means we'll avoid them altogether. Yeah, look up guys, look the snow. There has to be snow up there. Where we are going, there has to be. We're almost there. Guys, we'll find out as soon as we get there. Yes, David and Emily are going to do their new playlist called Are We There Yet? Yeah, so hopefully if you can look up there guys, that's our mountain site. That is where we're heading. That is snow up there somewhere. that turn off the RV more because we'll have a windy road to go. Plus I've vlogged there quite a few times. Yeah. So we'll just take you down this way. So let's see what it tells us Avi more is can you see Newton more? Yeah, we'll just have to wait for the next turn. It's not far. That is a lot of snow. Alright guys it's Avi more to our left now and we want to be taken we're taking the next turn left off at uh, the mountains. Then we come. Yeah, King Craig is a safari park. I haven't been there for quite some time, actually, guys. So might be, might be worth a visit while we're here. Yes, I'll have more. You see the mountains over there, guys? That's where we're heading. We're trying to head anyway. Ugh. I need to eye out for cars there. Well, it's a bit better the sun being behind us, eh? It's cool, a bit cooler, isn't it? Yavi Moor. We're not driving through Yavi Moor today. Well, they've got a lovely chip shop, haven't they? Fish and chip shop. It's awesome. There's the fish and chip shop there, actually. Pizzas. I think that amazing pizza from there once, didn't we? Yeah, so... Avi Moore's ahead. Turn. 
frothy Marcus, we're going to climb a bit more now. I can't remember how high above sea level we're going to be. I can't remember. But quite literally from Loch Morlock um, up to the mountains, it's like a five minute drive. Me and Doves, have we, we wild camped up there twice? Or, Where? or once? What, the sugar bowl? Yeah, the sugar bowl up yeah, on the mountain. Yeah, we've camped. there once for the, the roof tent. Yeah. Sure we have, eh? I'll start a climbing now. I'd much rather show you the scenery, especially when we get up to the loft, the edge of the loch. It was beautiful. There'll be loads of videos coming from that. I'm really hoping I can get in the canoe. Um, it's pretty yeah, windy just now. Boiling bridge, I have a climb. We'll give it some gas. Yeah, let's climb. Are we there yet? 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 Five minutes, you guys, and we are there, dude. We're there. Not over there, I'm telling you, I think that's going to be a great new playlist. Are we there yet? Yeah. BFF on holiday. Yes, it's just facing you. Can I come there? Phone there. Yes. Welcome. No fires or barbecues. Well, it's quite right, guys, because really super dry pine needles uh, in this part of the forest so very dangerous not good we do tend to have a campfire down the beach though don't we guys so we might have one yeah. way down the beach me and david will go out and collect some uh, wood for the fire yeah. we'll maybe have a fire we used to on holidays we almost used to have a campfire on the last night we'd do a fire yeah, we'd always have like a last day the last night fire we haven't done it for a while have we There we go, switching David's on manual just to show you. There's a lot of people up here that aren't actually staying up here overnight. Um, they're just out doing the water sports. Here we can, we can see the loft in the trees there. Looking beautiful. Yes, yeah, so David Dobbs going to have to take us on manual. Yeah. Nice and steady, he's got it. The place is rocking. It's very hot. There's a ton of people. We're almost there. Yeah, up here there's the eat coffee. The caravan site to the right. Yeah, it's there's not that time, that takes you to the shop. We've also got another speed bump here. Just to hit that. See the caravan site. Yeah, the caravan site's there. And of course you can camp out the tents but the places. There's loads of people there. It's just packed. So what Mum's going to try and do is try and get us into the forest. But if not, who cares? You know, it'd just be, it'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Just a change. The thing is, we don't really want the sun, but we kind of do. Yeah, we do, we don't, don't we? Halves or halves? Halves and halves and heaps and heaps. We're here though, look. Oh, she's <laughs> looking. Now remember, calm down, Bailey. Just okay. relax. Yeah, it's Bailey. We're going to be getting Bailey mated up, aren't we? And she should calm down a bit then. But at the minute, she's still a bit off puppy, aren't you, Bales? And Mummy's gone. She's not happy. No happy, Mummy's gone. Two. Right, so we're on pitch 32. We can't get into the forest. That's okay. The place is very, very busy, but we'll show you the forest later anyway. It's really nice. I was trying to negotiate this tiny little bridge with a big, big caravan. But okay. But yeah, look at it. It's watching busy. And we do have a hard stand in sight, so... I think it's just said straight. Oh man, see if we get down at the bottom, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. So where's the dude? Because there's an empty space there, look. Like. Uh, Is that him there with the blue jumper on? It's it is. It's that dude there with the blue jumper on, right? Absolutely perfect, guys, eh? Right, I've got a wee bit. I can go back a wee bit yet, can't I? But like, feet there at least to go back. That's it. Look at this. <laughs> Bailey will come out with me. Here, here, here. So we know we a little life jacket for Bailey once, didn't we? Yes, but I don't fit her anymore. Good girl. He's a good girl. But to stay on the lead though, darling. 
Can you still in the lead? 